It's the middle, guys. Right. Well, what first pops to mind isn't so much like the boxing, it's just hearing that there's this guy that is uh, got a PhD, intelligent, and knows how to fight well. And like, the way he represents himself was quite unique. From I watched a lot of Mike Tyson when I first started boxing, so they're very different. But they were both as dominant as each other in their own right. So that's what I remember about Klitschko being very unique. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe just the fact that there's a different breed of heavyweights coming through. Um, his era was a good era and a dominant era, but he, this fight will show him, if he wins, that he, this is still his era. And if he loses, I think he'll understand that this is a completely new breed of heavyweights coming through and I have to kind of pass the torch on. But for sure, when we go toe to toe, if he's hitting me in the head and I think, okay, I respect you, so I'm going to give you another shot, that would be crazy of me. So my job is to go out there and, and make sure that I'm hitting him and he's not hitting me. And I perform to my best capabilities and it's a boxing match. It's no problem to hit someone. It's no problem at all in the ring. Even if Two gold medalists, former world champion, one current world champion, still a lot to prove, um, yet a lot to prove. You've got the guy who went on and achieved great things in his career and has built a legacy, you've got the guy who's yet to still. So when you balance it all up, it's a 50-50 fight, I think, and that's what makes it exciting. He has uh, developed himself uh, tremendously. He has a professional team, he's an extreme athlete and he's very athletic. He's trying to learn and I've uh, experienced that while he was two years ago at my training camp. He, he's calm, he's backed off and he's learning, he's observing. So um, I think he has the right attitude um, how to approach the sport and how to get better. And it's going to be really tough for me to fight such a young, ambitious man. And, and, and on so we're definitely putting a different uh, image for the sport, a different look. He still excites you like this? Well, it is exciting. I'm, I'm still in pretty amazing shape. Um, I, I don't feel age till now. I don't know how it's going to be in five years, but um, as, as, as currently as right now, I, I feel motivated. I uh, feel strong. Um, the speed, you know, experience, uh, anticipation, it all works together well. And um, that's what actually I will need to say uh, a couple of months later on uh, the night of um, April 29th, ca just a couple of meters from here um, in the middle of the Wembley Stadium. I want to say the same lines. You know what? I still got it. <laughs> That's why I'm holding these titles in my hands. And you. Yeah, it does. It's a legacy fight for sure. You know, anytime you box someone like Vladimir Klitschko for multiple belts at a 90,000 venue, that's the kind of nights that go down in history. So this is where Anti Joshua wants to go. I don't think there'll be a backward step after this fight. Um, and, uh, and ultimately, it's, it's two of the top heavyweights in the world fighting for all the belts. So, you know, I think the British fight fans are in for a huge night on April 29th and a, and a massive acid test for Anthony Joshua.